hello everyone so in this tutorial we will be learning how to display the stock charts from yahoo finance into your iphone application so this is how the application will look like and we get the stock chart of microsoft corporation from the yahoo finance website the same graph that is displayed here so the first thing we do is we go to google and we type yahoo finance api uh, we go to the first option and we see and we under yahoo finance apis we select technical analyzing charts Now this is the URL that we will be using to download the data and the parameters that we can specify are here. So for example, if we want the stock code for Microsoft Corporation, we will have question mark symbol equals MSFT and we can specify the time screen, the time span for which we want the graph. So we will say that the time span is three months. So we go to the URL and this is what it looks like. And this will download an image in PNG format and we will display this image in an iPhone. So this is, for example, the, the URL for Microsoft and it shows a graph for three months. If we wanted the same graph for Google, all we have to do is say symbol equals Google. Or if we wanted Apple, we will say that we wanted for Apple. But in this example, we will go for Microsoft. So we open Xcode, we make a single view application and we save it whenever, wherever we like. So hopefully you will know how to do that already. In this tutorial, we will just go through the steps of you know, creating this. So go ahead and create a new UI view class and an image stock chart and up here we have an SURL connect connection which is equal to connection uh, ns mutable data uh, the ui activity indicator view which will uh, keep spinning around until the data is downloaded onto the screen and boolean fill and so we will see why boolean fill is given in a minute and we need another method to load the image from the url so as soon as this stock chart is initialized, we need the following code. So this is already written out for you. We will just step through it. So as soon as the view is initialized, we will first uh, make an activity indicator view and we will make it spin up. We will, the style is gray. So we will see a gray spinning wheel when it is downloaded. And this is the frame of the, the UI activity indicator so that it is centered on the screen. And the activity indicator will hide when, the, when it is no longer needed. And we make it start animating as soon as the view is initialized. And lastly, we add this activity indicator into the current view. Then uh, for NSURL connection, we will be using its three protocol methods. The first being did receive data. And the purpose of this method is that as soon as we receive any data, we append that data to NS mutable data, which we created in our header file. And if the data is nil, then we initialize the data and give it the capacity of two kilobytes. So we are just simply downloading two kilobytes of data at a time. And we append this data to, and as soon as we receive any amount of data, we add it to our value data. The second protocol method that we are implementing is called connection to finish loading and so this is the method 
and as soon as the connection has finished loading we stop the activity indicator view and we make the connection equals to nil because we no longer need the connection we now initialize an image view uh, so these the image view will take the entire ui view so starting from 0 comma 0 will take the entire width and the entire height of the frame that was initialized and then we add this data that we saved and the image view will have an image which makes an which makes an image of the data that we downloaded previously and if the value is filled then we fill the data otherwise we try and uh, shrink the view so that it is you know still good looking and lastly we add the image view to the view to the ui view the third nsuri connection for the call that we are implementing is called big fail with error so if the connection failed then it simply says activity indicator stop animating and we could throw in a few fancy ui alert view error messages saying that you know your error message which has the error message saying the connection failed lastly we will implement the method saying load image from ui so okay we'll get back to this in a minute so in the view then the view controller class we have we make it a delegate of ns url connection and we have a ui image view which is top chart image view and we add uh, an instance of the class top chart so this is where we need so we initialize this top chart and let's give it a frame value of you know, 0 50 and it will occupy the entire width and it will have a height of 320 points so to call this uh, stock chart method all we want to do is say load an image from the url and the url will be the one we just created over here so we will pass this url and coming back to the stock chart class so we have the url over here and with this url we create a request we create an ns url request uh, and we allow it to store the data in the cache and the timeout interval is one second and now we initialize the connection with the request equal to request and it is its own delegate And lastly, we add the view to the chart. So now go ahead and hit command run. So the build has succeeded without any errors. And we see that the stock chart for Microsoft has been loaded. So hopefully you learned something from this tutorial. Have a good day.